Welcome to an episode of Let's Code a Linux Network Driver. In today's episode I want to show you how we can implement a function for setting a MAC address in a Linux Network Driver on the example of my simple SPI Ethernet device, the Z device. So as you can see here I'm connected to my Raspberry Pi over SSH and the Z device is connected to it over SPI. And the first thing I will do is I will go into the folder in which I have the driver for the set device and when I build this and load the module let me show you something. This just takes a little bit of time to build. Okay here we go. So the first thing I will do is I will apply my device tree overlay which adds the set device to our system. And now I will insert the set driver. And if I check now my um, my network interfaces, I can see this set zero interface here. And I can also see this interface has a MAC address, but this MAC address is just all zeros. For example, here my Ethernet adapter has a real MAC address attached to it. And the goal of today's video is that we are implementing a function to set this MAC address here. Therefore, let's open up the source file for the set driver. And the first thing we need is we need to implement a new or we need to include a new header file. So we will need the header linux slash etherdevice.h. Here these defines tell me the available commands for our set device, the SBI commands, and I will implement a new command here which I will name setMac for setting the MAC address, and this command has the number 4. If I search for this command within the firmware which is running on the set device, I would also see this command here that this is used for setting a MAC address. Okay, and then the next thing I have to do is I have to implement a new function. Maybe, yeah, maybe here. And this function I will name set set MAC address. And this function will be called when the MAC address of the network card should be changed. And this function has the following arguments. The first one is a pointer from the type struct net device, which is a pointer to my networking device, and I will call it net. And the second one is a void pointer, which contains the address which should be set to the networking card. Okay, and the first thing I will need here is I will need a struct containing the private data of my networking device, which I'm getting here, and the type of the private data is from the um, type set net. Then, so this thing is, this function here, have, so here the address is a void pointer. And the reason for this is this should work regardless on which format the MAC address has or which type of um, yeah physical transmission you have, basically. But I'm using normal Ethernet, and therefore the, um, the addresses are represented in a, the struct SOC address. And here I will create a pointer which I will call address. And here I will, this pointer I will set to the address which was passed to me. And then this struct sock address has a field SA data. And in this SA data we have the actual MAC address in it. Okay, then I will need an 8, um, 7 byte array for my SPI transfer command to the set device. And the last thing I will need is a status variable, which is an integer. Okay, the first thing I will do is I will check if the net interface is running, because I can only change the MAC address when the device is not running and when the device is not in operation, because it doesn't make sense to change the MAC address when the device is running. You don't want this because this was would disturb your whole um, yeah, network traffic. So if the device is currently running, I will return error busy because the device is busy and we cannot change the MAC address here. But if the device is shut down, we are able to change the MAC address. 
And the first thing I will do is I will call the function Ethernet hardware address set. And here I'm using the pointer to my networking device and I'm telling it, okay, please now use the address which you can find under in the field um, SOC address SA data. So with this command, I have updated the MAC address for the um, net device struct, which is used by Linux to manage our networking interfaces. But I also have to change it in my hardware down below. And therefore I will pack an SPI transfer command. So the command will be set MAC. And then in the next um, six bytes of the seven byte array, I will put in the new address because a MAC address in Ethernet uh, um, has six bytes in size. Okay, so here I will copy to data one. I will copy address as a data, so the MAC address. And the amount of bytes I want to copy is six, but I can also use this macro here, ether address len, this should also return six. Okay, and now I can do the SPI access, but before I'm doing so, I will lock my mutex. So only one yeah, function at a time can access the SPI bus here. And at the end, of course, I have to unlock the mutex. And here I will use the function SPI write to write to my SPI device. And I want to write down my data array and I want to write down seven bytes, which is size of data. And here I will save the return value in a status variable. And at the end, I will return the status. So in case this returns zero, everything went fine and else an error code will be returned here. Okay, and now we are almost done. But what we have to do is here in the net device operations, we have to insert our new operation with ndo set mac address and here we have to set this pointer to set set mac address and in the probe function i would also like to set the mac address so let me show you how this is done maybe let's do it down here and normally um Every networking device has a unique MAC address. And th this MAC address is maybe stored in the device or in a flash which is attached to this device. But for development purposes, it can be quite useful to use random MAC addresses. And in the kernel, there is a function to assign a random um, MAC address. And let me show you how this can be done. So therefore, I will call the function ether hardware address random to assign a random MAC address to our networking device. And this function will invoke our implemented MAC address set function. And then the fun uh, MAC address will be also set on our device down below. And because I find it interesting, maybe let's print out the um, address here. And with P capital M, I can format the address as a MAC address and in the field def address of the um, struct network device, we can find the MAC address. Okay, so that should be it. Let me try to compile the program here. And let's see how much mistakes I've made. Okay, this is looking good. Then maybe let's fire up tmux so we can see the kernels lock here in a second window. And here, let me remove the old instance of the driver and let's insert the new version of the driver. So we can see now here a print that a random MAC address was assigned to this device. And if I run IPL to list all my IP in, um, networking interface, we can see that set zero now has this MAC address here. And just for fun, let's remove the device once again, or the driver again, insert it again. And now you can see the address has changed here. 
and we have a different MAC address showing up here with our set device. So every set device probed in the system will get their own random MAC address. Okay, cool, so that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. In case you want to support my work, you can buy my coffee on buymycoffee.com slash for Linux. So thanks for watching and goodbye.